Hello, today I'm going to be telling you all of the information we currently have on SRM and ACE in SATX. First, let me explain how this works. When you're holding an object, the game creates a reference to it in memory. Now, under very specific conditions, we can create a stale reference. Currently, there are only two known ways to do so. One of those two ways is in Emerald Coast Act Zero while playing as Sonic. You're going to grab a bomb thrown by a Kiki and head your way up to the level transition. Once you enter the level transition, the game removes a bomb from your hands but fails to remove the reference in memory, thus creating a stale reference. This area of memory is dependent on where the bomb you grabbed was loaded into memory. It could be higher or lower based on what was loaded at the time the bomb was. The bomb is a part of the set object data list of pointers. So to activate this SRM, we just have to touch another grabbable object. This is currently the only known way to do so. In this case, it's another Kiki bomb. So in this case, I managed to move a dash pad. Now depending on what is or isn't loaded, you get varying outcomes, one of them being a crash. And the other outcome is the one we just got, where the referenced object's XYZ chords get written to yours. These coordinates are stored in the object's task worker pointer. Now most objects and things are tasks. Most set objects in the level are tasks. When loaded, your character is a task, the HUD, and etc. These tasks hold series of pointers pointing to things like its main subroutine, display subroutine, its task worker, motion worker, and other workers. Each worker contains information about its task, including and not limited to its speed, gravity, angle, scale, status flags, and more. We currently do not have a way to achieve this in the hub worlds, nor do we have a way to do it with anyone but anyone else but Gamma. His methods are a bit more weird. While playing as Gamma in Hot Shelter, you must grab a Kiki Bomb and head over to the bridge that you can turn by pressing a button. Once the bridge is fully turned, you're going to want to stand near the back of it and run towards the side of the door. Once you collide with the door, keep running and Gamma will sooner or later enter mode change. Once in mode change, you must keep moving. If you stop moving, Gamma will exit mode change. If you do not enter mode change before passing through the door, this trick doesn't work. Let me go ahead and reattach Cheat Engine to the process real quick. And you can see that we do have a reference to the object. Once we go past the door, you can see that the object disappears from our hands, and we still have a stale reference. I haven't had much luck teleporting objects to me in Hot Shelter as Gamma, but it is possible. Most of the time it ends up in a crash just like that. Now the crashes are weird. There is more than one type of crash, but they all seem to be due to null pointers. I will include three pictures in the description below of the most common crashes. I will also link the Sonic Adventure DX IDA database for you to check out if needed. These SRM glitches work both on Dreamcast and GameCube. We have not tested on PlayStation, Xbox, nor the Steam version. Now on to chow names. With chow names, we have control over 7 bytes of data, and using special characters, we can actually write x86 code. We haven't found a way RTA viable to run the chow's name as code. I will link a pastebin below that contains the hex codes for most of the letters. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you know anyone who is savvy in arbitrary code execution or x86 programming, please share this video. Any help would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.